Uh, good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to convert Gerber data coming out of Eagle software into SolidWorks. The data that we are provided is a number of Gerber files and also a drill file. The layers that we care about would be GTL, which stands for top layer, and GBL, which stands for bottom layer. Then the drill data is launchboard.txt, which you can see down here. It's a Exelon drill file, and we'll convert that into Gerber so we can bring it into our translator. We're using NetXG. We're going to start by setting our preferences. So I've created two directories under my data, one for my working files and one for my final output. And I'm also going to set the arc resolution because that'll be controlled during import to six degrees. That'll determine how smooth my arcs are. Lee and off polygons are needed for 3D. That's probably all I need to do here. Now I'll select the top Gerber file. That would be my GTL. Then I'll put a dielectric between it, and then I'll select the bottom layer. We need to set the properties here. We have to assign the thickness. I'm going to set them to 1 mil, assume they're copper. The dielectric, I'll set it to 10 mils, and I'll call it FR4. Now I have my Z values for when I convert into SOLIDWORKS. And now we have to deal with the drills. We expect a Gerber file, but since we don't have one, we go to the Drilled Gerber program. We can load a reference file here. We know that the format here is 2.5 inches. I know that my drill format is also 2.5 and it's in inches. Coordinates are likely absolute and I'm pretty sure that the trailing zeros are present. You can determine that by looking at the file. I'm going to load the file. It's a text file. Now we can load the file we just created, the drill file. It goes from layers 1 to 3. If we want some of these larger holes to be mounting holes and not vias, we could click on this and set the diameter 0.06. And now to specify our output, I'm just going to call this launch board. Now we'll execute. All right, it finished successfully. Why don't we look at our output? So now we're looking at the 3DI file in Artworks 3D View. You can pan and zoom and you can see this is the top side. You can see that this is the bottom side. If you look at the edge, you can see the edge is there. Let's turn off the dielectric board and look at the vias. So we can see the vias in there and if we want to get a better look, we can zoom in on the Z scale. Now we can see all of the vias. Wherever we specified a mounting hole, we didn't put a via. So now we're going to import this into SOLIDWORKS. I'm using SOLIDWORKS 2011, but this plugin works on all the versions of SOLIDWORKS from 11 up to 16. We'll select the read 3DI file. We'll go to our settings and make sure it's going to where we want it. Under thermal simulation settings, if you want drill holes in your dielectric, you need to click that. And now I'll just click import. and you see our results. This is now a full 3D model. There's one part for the top metal, one for the bottom, one for the vias, and one for the boards. And let's turn off the board layer. Zoom in on the edge there, you can see the vias. And let's turn off the vias. And let's look just at the board and not the metals. There's your dielectric board, and you can see all the holes drilled through it. And notice that these are circles and not a number of segments, so it should be simple to find the center of those. So that's our conversion. Thank you.